I've been in this for over 35 years. I've seen everything from the beginning of steroids pretty much until the evolution of things have evolved now. And what I'm seeing today is there's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet. People are promoting, you know, mega cycles with huge dosages, uh, some dangerous products that are being put out there that are totally unnecessary. And it's important that people really understand the pharmacology and how these things work. Uh, there is a safe way to do it. Obviously there's risks with anything, but you can minimize those risks. And so if you can do it, and obviously people are going to do it, but it's best to do it and stay, try to stay healthy. And what's being promoted out there right now by a lot of these internet celebrities and just random people on the internet, it's just a lot of misinformation. So I've been in this, like I said, 35 years. I've done every cycle that there is. I tried every drug there is. I've trained more clients than I can remember for competitions. And I pretty much know what works and what doesn't work and what's necessary and what's obviously not necessary. All right, my background with steroids. I started training when I was 13, and right away I started training uh, alongside competitive bodybuilders. This is back in the day when uh, Weeder was running bodybuilding, and all the pro bodybuilders were in LA at that time, and so I happened to fall right into that. This is going back to early, I started training in 1980. At, 16, I was prepping for my first contest, and my first cycle ever was Anavar, two milligrams. Uh, they were the serial Anavar, two milligrams. They were little footballs, and I took three a day for basically 30 days, and I put on about 20 pounds. That was my first cycle ever. Uh, after that, I got deeper into it, got more into competitive bodybuilding, went on. Uh, to continue to compete, won shows, national shows, and stayed involved in the uh, bodybuilding industry, was on and off, more on than off, probably um, my entire competitive career. Did spend uh, some time in prison when I was young, and obviously didn't take anything that during that period of time, but continued to train got out and uh, went back to training and decided to compete again. So went back on. That would have been uh, early 90s. And I've pretty much uh, done every training cycle and steroid cycle there is. Tried every combination of drugs, um, nutrition, and you name it. I've done it all. In 2006, we opened Stallion Labs in Mexico and was the largest uh, co compounding outfit basically in North America at the time, maybe in the world actually for that year. And learned how to compound and make different pharmaceuticals, different grades. I actually formulated some of my own combinations of um, products that to this day have not been replicated still and I was pretty good at that so I've been in this now for over 35 years trained numerous competitors seen done tried every cycle drug that's out there and have a pretty good understanding of how it all works